Hello guys and welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to check the Recon FPV Recon 3, a very interesting nano long range quadcopter which is a result of a cooperation between AGLRC and AFC. In this quick video I'm going to briefly go over its features and specs, show you some flat footage and give you my initial feedback after testing it out. First of all, in terms of packaging, inside the box, along with the Recon 3, which is available with multiple ready receiver options, you are getting two sets of Gem Fan Hurricane 1318 by bladed propellers, some Recon FPV stickers, the user manual of the AGLRC Zeus 5 all-in-one flight controller, M2 screws for securing the propellers, a small card that shows you how to install the battery properly, as otherwise you are going to damage the flight controller, and another one that shows you how to install the propellers, which is in my case incorrect, since the Recon 3 is using a prop-out configuration. As for its features and specs, the highlight of the Recon 3 is that it is being powered using a single 18650 lithium ion battery cell, which is going to provide you with an extra long flight time of between 10 to 15 minutes. In addition, it features the Recon FPV 1202.5 11600 kV motors, the GRC Zeus 5, an all-in-one FR 25.5 by 25.5 mm flight controller that features an integrated 5A BLLES 4-in-1 ESC, the AGRC Zeus Nano, a 40 channels VTX that supports RC tram protocol and has a maximum output power of 350 mW. It is connected to a linear antenna and on the front of the quadcopter you can find the Cadex and nano-sized FPV camera. As for the frame, its wheelbase is 140mm, it's using a dead cat pattern so the propellers are not going to get into your FPV feed, and unlike the original nano long range frame by Dave C, which is entirely 3D printed, the Recon 3 is using replaceable carbon fiber arms which have a thickness of 2mm and a width of 5mm. As for its weight, the dry weight of the Recon 3 is 65.9 grams, and including an 18650 lithium ion battery cell, it weighs 111.6 grams. In order to set up the Recon 3, first of all, in case you've got the plug and play version, you will need to install your own radio receiver. It is pretty simple and basically will require you to remove this 3D printed part, which is made out of PTG, and then solder the radio receiver to the flat controller. I have a separate video about the Zeus 5, so in case you'd like to learn more about this all in one flight controller, you can check it out in this link over here. Then after binding the radio receiver with the radio controller, configure it using Betaflight, make sure that all the sticks and switches are working properly and define your favorite flight modes. In addition, as you can see under the port section, the serial RX switch is enabled on UR2, which is the only full UART that is supported by this flight controller. The VTX is connected using soft serial 1 and it is set to IRC tram protocol. And in case you wonder why the configuration slash MSP switch is enabled on UART1, that's because this flight controller features a built-in Wi-Fi module that will enable you to configure it wirelessly. Under the configuration tab, you should note that the motor direction is reversed, so you need to pay attention to it when installing the propellers. And finally, the Recon 3 comes pre-tuned for you, and by the way, as always, I've got the dump file linked down below. The next thing that I've done is to head outdoors and test the Recon 3. Overall, after testing it out, I can tell you that in my opinion, it's a great proof of concept and a nice cruiser. However, even though it can get pretty fast, its power is limited, which is something that you need to pay attention to when trying to recover from a dive or any other maneuver. As for flight time, which of course depends on how you fly and the battery cell that you're going to use, in my experience, realistically, you can expect about 10 minutes when cruising around and you need to pay attention that you shouldn't get below 2.85 volts as otherwise you are very likely to lose your video feed and crash your drone and it's also a good opportunity to mention that unfortunately this flight controller doesn't feature a current sensor so it's going to be a good idea to land your drone when your flight time gets close to 10 minutes. In addition, unfortunately, the Recon 3 doesn't feature a GPS unit, which in my opinion makes the whole long range feature kind of stale because you won't be able to monitor the direction and distance to home and use the beta flight rescue feature. Anyway, you are probably not going to get very far with this micro quadcopter because you are going to be limited by this combination of VTX and antenna, 
and in case you are going to try to get far I recommend to add an external buzzer as otherwise in case of a crash you are going to have a very hard time finding it. Finally as for durability even though I didn't crash it as far as I can tell the front two arms won't be able to withstand a major crash so if possible I would recommend to order some extra arms and worst case in case the frame breaks you can use the 3D printed files that are provided by Dave C. One last thing that is worth mentioning before wrapping up this video with some flight footage is that you need to make sure that the battery is installed properly as otherwise you are going to fry the flight controller and for that reason over here you can see a plus indication so the minus needs to be over here and the plus over here. So you can see now we can install the battery and the quadcopter is powered up. Anyway, that's going to be it for this quick video, and overall I think that the Recon 3 is a good option in case you would like to try something new, or you are on the go a lot so you can pack many batteries and just take this micro quadcopter with you and explore your surrounding. I'm going to wrap up this video now with some flight footage, and as always, if you have any questions, feel free to ask them in the comments section down below. Don't forget to leave a thumbs up if you like this video, and consider subscribing to my channel and hitting the notifications bell if you're not already subscribed. See you in my next videos, and goodbye.